Welcome to one of the most beautiful places in all of Fiji. crystal clear water, incredible snorkeling, and welcoming Fijian hospitality, the Malolo sandbar in the Mamanukas is beautiful in more ways than one. Come with us to experience this must-do activity when visiting Fiji. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to the Mamanuka Islands, which we are really excited about. So excited. We're taking a boat tour with the South Sea Sailing Boat Tours. We're going out to the islands. I know one of the islands is where Castaway was filmed. We're not going to the island, but that's definitely what I have pictured. It's blue water, beautiful islands. So I'm really excited. Yes, and we've heard there is some awesome snorkeling, which of course you know I love. So uh, we're excited to, to see if there is. Uh, right now we're going to get some breakfast and then head to the boat. After a 30 minute drive over to Port Denaro, it was finally time to check in for our boat cruise. It is worth noting that if you do not have your own car, hotel pickup is available through most of the tours out of Port Denaro. All right, time to check into our cruise. After a quick check-in, we started to board and were greeted with wonderful live music as we boarded the boat. After a complimentary drink service and more welcoming Fijian hospitality, we were on our journey to the Mamanukas. Before we get too far into our adventure, let's turn it over to Liz to tell us what we have planned today for our adventure in the Mamanukas. My name is Liz, cruise director on board. Today we're taking you out to the uh, Mamanukas, uh, specifically to Malolo Sandbar. And of course taking uh, our guests out, you, to the uh, Sunflower Reef where we have some of the uh, spectacular uh, scenery for snorkeling in the Mamanuda group. So come aboard. Come enjoy and uh, allow us to host you and share with you the beauty of the Mamanudas, Banaka. Love it. We're getting some muffins right now, some homemade muffins. Happy morning, tea. It's like a pot pie, maybe. It's really yummy. Good little afternoon tea. Yes. And the fruit looks so good. It does look really good. All the fruit on this island has been amazing. After an unexpected and delicious brunch, we were given our own concert of guitar and beautiful singing by some of the crew. In what felt like no time thanks to the entertainment, we arrived at our first destination, the Sunflower Reef. We quickly hopped into the beautiful blue 86 degree water, excited for our snorkel. The snorkeling at Sunflower Reef was gorgeous, but most of the cool fish were deeper down which made it a little bit more challenging. Regardless, it was a great start of our activities.
After snorkeling, we took another quick 10 minute boat ride to Malolo Sandbar, where we opted to eat lunch first before adventuring out into the Gatorade blue water once again. The buffet lunch was absolutely delicious and we were all impressed by the quality of the food that was served. So we got to the sandbar and unfortunately because of the high tide it's not really much of a sandbar. He was standing over there. But it is so picturesque here. Like the this. watercolor, the islands all over. It's so pretty and the water so is pretty. so blue. Oh, we love it here. I just want to stay forever. Despite the high tide, it was still super fun to swim out and be in shallow water in the middle of the ocean. We had a blast jumping off the boat, paddle boarding, floating in the warm water, and just relaxing, enjoying the absolutely gorgeous place that we were at. Rachel and I both agree this was one of the most beautiful places we have ever spent an afternoon at. After an hour of playing at the sandbar, we were given one last opportunity to snorkel. We almost passed it up in favor of relaxing a bit more, but we are sure glad we didn't. The snorkeling off the Malolo sandbar turned out to be some of the best snorkeling we have ever experienced. The fish and corals were right up near the surface which made for an effortless float of beauty. The colors, textures, and movement of the fish and coral made for a true sensory overload. After our snorkel, it was finally time to make our way back home. On the way back, we were surprised with even more fun entertainment from the crew. We did some traditional line dancing followed by the bula dance, which was a ton of fun. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, After getting off the boat, we were starving and ready for the final part of our perfect day. We were told by a lot of people that the best Indian food in all of Nandi was located at Port General at a restaurant called Indigo. After a day in the sun, this delicious Indian food really hit the spot. Okay, we got off the sea cruise. It was like the most perfect day. It was so much fun. We definitely worked up an appetite. It was a lot of time out in the sun. So we are still in Port General. We're here at Indigo and the food is really great. Honestly, I can't imagine any this day being any better. The cruise was perfect, the water was perfect, the snorkeling, snorkeling was, was ama amazing. amazing. <laughs> uh, the food was great, like everything about today. The people are all so nice, I can't get over that. Yes. 
perfect day. Our day at Port Denaro and the Mamanuka Islands was perfect. Our already high expectations were exceeded by the stunning scenery, incredible service and food, and welcoming Fijian crew. It was a pleasure to spend the day with South Sea Sailing and we can't wait to go back and do it all again. Hey everyone, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, we'd really appreciate it if you gave it a like. If you want to see more of our upcoming Fiji content, be sure to subscribe. As always, we hope you have an amazing day.